The human body is a miracle, but it is also extremely vulnerable. Many illnesses and disorders are still untreatable. Fortunately, science is always evolving. It is unraveling more and more secrets about how our body works and which processes occur in conditions of sickness or health. The challenge? To use our scientific knowledge to discover new, innovative drugs. A new hope to patients all over the world. Fourteen years. That is how long it takes to develop a new drug. It is a very labor-intensive, time-consuming and expensive process. Over 14 years, 100 research projects will eventually lead to one drug on the market. In many illnesses, one or more proteins in the body are not working correctly. That is what scientists are trying to detect. Can they discover which proteins cause an illness? If so, then these proteins are also targets for the development of a new drug. The big problem is that our body contains hundreds of thousands of proteins. In order to find the candidate targets, researchers compare their composition and function in healthy cells and in cancer cells. In case of an illness, there's often a surplus or a shortage of a certain protein. This is how we find out which proteins play a part in the development of cancer. Once a target is known, the search for substances that can affect it starts in order to overcome the illness. Scientists use substances from nature. They synthesize substances chemically or they design them using computer simulations. The result of all this detective work, a huge number of substances that may possibly affect the target. All of them need to be tested. In modern labs, up to 100,000 substances can be tested a day using advanced technology such as high throughput screening which can very quickly select those substances that affect a certain target. What if the effect of a selected substance is not very pronounced? In that case, chemists will manipulate the substance to make it more suitable for drug development. They do this with three aims in mind. To increase the effectiveness, increase the safety and reduce the side effects as much as possible first in a test tube and then in laboratory animals. Animal testing is the only real way to determine whether the substance is effective and safe enough to try in humans. Not only the effectiveness but also the method of administration which makes the substance end up in the right place in the body contributes to ensure an optimal effect. If everything is the way it should be then the researchers will ensure that the substance can also be produced safely and efficiently in large quantities. Until now, all research took place outside the human body. But will the substance deliver against the real disease? The answer to that question comes from years of research in thousands of patients. At this stage, there's a considerable chance that the candidate drug still fails to make the grade. What happens then? The entire process starts all over again. Clinical tests cost an enormous amount of time and money. They're carried out in three stages and take on an average of six and a half years. Every stage has to confirm certain tests in previous research. The results of all phases are compiled in a huge registration file which is assessed by the health organizations. They decide whether to approve or reject the marketing of the drug. The medicine has been put on the market. Then the manufacturer has an average of six to seven years to recover the investment cost. After that, the patent expires. 
and even at this stage, the research still continues into new methods of administration or rare side effects, for example, not forgetting marketing and distribution costs. A major part of the profit is reinvested in new research to develop new medicines, which in turn give countless patients new hope. Hope for a cure.